and welcome to today's lecture. Today we will look at the Zariski topology. So recall that our idea is to go from describing algebraic sets as some sort of thing that sits inside affine space and depends on the embedding to some uh, independent uh, concept of its own and we want therefore to introduce algebraic and geometric intrinsic structures on these affine varieties. And we start with the, top, uh, with the geometric structure. And what we are going to do is we are going to make our algebraic sets into topological spaces. In case you haven't seen uh, topological spaces before, here is a short overview. So the idea of a topological space is that if you are given a set X, you want to introduce some intrinsic local geometric structure on X so that you can do analysis on X. And to be able to do that from analysis, you know that the important concepts are the concept of open sets, open neighborhoods, and so on, and dually closed sets. So we want to define what it means for a set to be closed and what it means for a set to be open inside this topological uh, space, which we will call our set X. So given a set X, a topology of X is a collection of subsets that you call closed and that satisfy the following uh, conditions. First of all, you want the empty set and the whole set to be counted as closed. Secondly, you want finite unions of closed sets to be closed. And thirdly, you want arbitrary, meaning finite and infinite, intersections of closed sets to be closed. So uh, you can phrase this in terms of this T more formally by saying that the empty set and X should belong to this T and to saying that if subsets X1 to XR belong to T then the union belongs to T and thirdly if subsets xi, where i is any index set, um, belong to t, then the intersection of all xi belongs to t. And these are, if you think about it, the properties you would expect from closed sets uh, on, say, the real line. And a set X with a topology T, so a collection of sets that you declare as closed, is called a topological space. Then you assume if the uh, topology is clear from context, you just say that X is a topological space without explicitly mentioning T. And now what is an open set? An open set is a set such that the complement is closed. So topologies can, and usually are, rather defined equivalently by specifying which sets are open rather than specifying which sets are closed. And then you dualize these axioms. You can do that if you wish. But the point is that a topological space is a set with a clear declaration of which subsets are closed and which subsets are open. One example of this is if you take the real line or any subset of the n-dimensional real space with the usual notion of closed and open that you know from previous courses that will make a topological space. But look, for example, at this picture. So consider the following function from R to R this graph is given in some such fashion. And then if you look at the pre-image of uh, this open set, this will not be open because the pre-image will be this half-closed set. 
So maybe that is an image that can make this notion more intuitive. But anyway, this is what a continuous map is. And the uh, bijections that you want to consider, if you want to consider uh, a way to say that two topological spaces are roughly the same, then the notion is homeomorphism. So homeomorphism is a continuous map with a continuous inverse. Then you say that the topological spaces in question are homeomorphic. Notice this presence of the letter E, not to confuse this with homomorphism. So as we said, the uh, subsets of Rn with the usual notions of open and closed subsets are topological spaces. And in that case, you can prove that continuity corresponds to the usual notion of continuity of maps. So now let us finally look at the Zariski topology. So we are not anymore looking at arbitrary abstract sets X, but now we're looking at algebraic sets. So consider an algebraic set in AN and set T to be the collection of all algebraic subsets of X. Then this is a topology on X. So what we mean is that we define a set Z uh, subset of X to be closed if Z is an algebraic set. So if Z is the vanishing set of some ideal of functions J. So J is an ideal in the algebra um, of regular functions, the coordinate ring of X. And so why is this a topology? Well, we have uh, verified the axioms before, so maybe pause and think what the axioms would look like in terms of this condition. Okay, so we want to prove that the empty set is V of something, and that is V of O of X. You want to prove that the whole set is V of something, and that's of course V of the zero ideal. And then we've seen that if you have a finite number of ideals, then the um, union V of I1 through V of IR, this is V of the product I1 through IR. And also we've seen that V of II, as you intersect any collection of ideals, you will get the vanishing set of the sum. Or rather, the, uh, which is the same, the union. And so, therefore, we know that these axioms do hold for this collection of subsets. And so, in short, because the empty set, the whole set, finite unions and arbitrary intersections of algebraic sets are algebraic, this is a topology on X. And this is called the Zariski topology, named after Oskar Zariski. So uh, one remark is that the Zariski topology on an algebraic set, you can get by defining it directly on the algebraic set using the uh, relative versions of algebraic sets that we have looked at. Or you can just define the Zariski topology on the whole affine space and say that you look at the induced subspace topology on an algebraic set X. This is one and the same thing, and I leave it to you as an exercise to check this. And so whenever we talk about topology or open or closed subsets of algebraic sets, we always mean with respect to the Zariski topology, unless otherwise stated. And indeed, if your field is, say, the field of complex numbers, then algebraic sets will come with the usual metric topology that you have seen before. And with respect to that topology, things are a bit different, 
as you will see. So, uh, for example, the uh, open interval, or the since we're looking at C, the um, open ball, so, so the set of all x in C, such that the absolute value of x is smaller than 1. This is, of course, open with respect to the usual topology on C, but this is not Zariski open. There is no polynomial that vanishes on its complement, so uh, its complement is not Zariski closed, and therefore this is not Zariski open. So one has to be careful when uh, dealing with intuitive notions and working with the Zariski topology. And to say more about these things, we need to introduce some more terminology.